Hi there, welcome to the Excel channel and welcome to this tutorial video for the play-along videos of Bitty Bitty Bat, as written by Stephanie Level at musicforkiddos.com. And I love to do this one with my students as well, particularly in first grade. This is the first grade song that we do now. So uh, what we do in these videos is, first of all, I show you the chords you need for soprano, concert tenor, G, C, E, A, ukulele. Then I show you the chords in baritone, B, G, B, E, ukulele. And then I just give you some ideas with strumming. Although, you know, as always, there is no one right answer for strumming because there was no ukulele used in the original version of the song. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, there are three things you can do. You can like the video, you can subscribe to the channel, and third, you can always buy me a cup of coffee to say thank you for making this content at buymeacoffee.com slash stuff. As a reminder, the chord chart or tabs are available at my website, ukestuff.info. Just look under the video tabs page, whatever that's called. I can't remember off the top of my head as I'm recording this at this moment. All right, let's begin with the chords you need for soprano, concert, or tenor, G, C, E, A, ukulele. I'll be using this instrument. This is my Enya Nova with my custom ukestuff.info uh, fretboard sticker from Neck Illusions. And this one has been with me quite a while and is showing no fretware. Yeah, I know you always hear people talk about fretware on their Enya Novas. Mine has been played so much. Um, one of my all-time favorite ukuleles, yet it's holding up just great. So the first chord you need is the A minor chord. Then the D minor chord. It's only the F chord with an extra finger. I've heard some people say I struggle with D minor. Don't struggle with D minor. Just play your F and add a finger to it. Very, very easy. Then the E7 chord, which I think is one of my all-time favorite chords. I just like how it feels. If you notice, when I play the E7, I rotate my wrist up a little bit. So I'm not trying to reach straight across and play the chord. I actually then am able to come down at an angle and play it by raising my wrist a little bit. So A minor, D minor, and E7 are the chords you need to play bitty bitty bat by stepping level on soprano, concert, or tenor, GCA tuned ukulele. Now let's talk about baritone. All right, for baritone, I'll be using this instrument. This is my Flight NUB 310. It's their entry level baritone laminate ukulele. The first chord is the A minor chord, then the D minor chord, and then finally the E7 chord. I think of all the three chords, the hardest one perhaps might be the D minor because it might be less frequently used. Um, my secrets here are place fingers one and two, just as if you were playing the C chord, right? Except you're up a string. So instead of playing strings four and two with the C chord, just shift over and you're playing strings one and three like the C chord. And then just add your third finger to the second string third fret. And that's your D minor chord. So A minor, D minor, and E7. Those are the chords you need to play Bitty Bitty Bat by Stephanie Level from musicforkiddos.com on baritone D, G, B, E, ukulele. Now let's talk about strumming. All right, now, once again, as I said in the beginning of the video, as we talk about strumming, there's not one right answer. I'm just gonna tell you what works for me. I am going to be using a technique that was introduced to me by ukulele Mike Lynch, who passed away a couple of years ago, and he just used this all the time. So what he did is he played string three and then played strings four, two, and one by picking like a claw. So it's three, so I'm actually playing the D minor chord here, but I'm, he plucked three and then one, two, four. Just like that. Now, what I would suggest is that as you play this song and the chord changes go along, keep up with that pattern regardless of what you're doing with the left hand or if you're left-handed and playing a left-handed ukulele, you know, flip accordingly. But anyway, just keep that pattern going even when you change the chords. I'm going to show you. So it goes like this, starting with the A minor chord. See what happens? 
gap in there, I just kept going that three, one, two, four, three, one, two, four, three, one, two, four, all the way through. That's gonna work really well. Again, I'll go super slow. One and two and ready and go A minor. D minor, A minor, D minor, A minor, E7, A minor. How does it work on baritone? Well, let's go see. I'm just gonna switch instruments here. So start with the A minor. So how about the next part of the song where she rolls a D minor chord and then an A minor chord and then we go back to the thumb one, two, four, thumb one, two, four, the next part. Then she rolls again, the A minor chord, then the E7 again with the picking, thumb, thumb, one, two, four. And then we're back to the original part again. Now, the only other thing you might want to try is that there are some times where she starts bouncing on the the chord she's playing. So, like, I'm a bouncing bat. A little bit harder to do on ukulele, but you could definitely be going... You could just play one, two, four and just pick at it, or you could just strum those, too. as well but generally just listen to the song listen how it's going and change your playing to match what you're hearing have fun with it there's not one right answer don't get uptight about it and it's a kid song it's it's meant to be fun um great for this halloween time of year so you can have something about bats without it being scary um kids can do actions with it and it's a fun one to do in class and actually it's easy enough that a lot of students can learn how to play it as long as they can get that E7 chord. All right, thanks so much for joining me for this video. Please go support Stephanie's work at musicforkiddos.com. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you have a great Halloween, and I'll be back soon with some more Uke stuff for you.